The Alfalfa family had a meeting with the IPC? I got this information from a message sent by that IPC ambassador. He said it was to return the favor. It's not hard to imagine. Penacony today is pretty much like the frontier prison it once was, with external forces casting greedy eyes and the undercurrent of order lurking within. Instead of falling into a situation where they are plagued by both external and internal threats, Penacony would rather take a step back and invite the IPC to negotiate at the table, ostensibly to cooperate, but in reality, to secure more opportunities for their own survival. Well, no wonder they sought the mediation from the Astral Express. In your opinion, who should we stand behind? I don't think the followers of the Harmony are completely innocent victims in all of this. For reasons unknown, they have a strong desire to smooth things over, which leads to speculation about their motives. If either the family or IPC were to assume full control of Penacony, it would return to its previous illusory dream of hedonism, and the efforts of those previous nameless would once again go to waste. There you are. Did you rest well? I didn't disturb you since you were in a deep sleep. Yeah. Even long dreams eventually come to an end. Our adventure in Penacony is reaching its conclusion. Hmm. After Anna's dream was shattered, the family branch from the Montour system soon arrived and swiftly took control of the situation. Most members of the Oak family fell unconscious, but fortunately, their lives were not in danger. <sighs> the mastermind behind the plans was confirmed to be Gopher Wood, the previous Dream Master. But by the time we arrived, he was dead already. He'll face a trial. As for further details... The family would rather not disclose them. Ultimately, the public perceived the incident as an attack by evil forces targeting the Charmony Festival. They believe the family failed to safeguard the sweet dream, significantly eroding their credibility in the process. While quite different from the truth, this appears to be the outcome with the least impact. After all, you don't know who's awake and who's pretending to be asleep. Well, they'll open their eyes in the face of danger. Once the danger subsides, they'll embrace the sweet dream again. Here's a toast with three glasses of glory of the trailblaze to all of you. Yeah, it's good to see you all again. Although we might be saying goodbye again after this reunion. When will the Astral Express leave Pentagony? We'll stay a bit longer, but not too long. So, this is our final meeting, then? If this is a farewell, then it seems to be missing something. Music? Atmosphere? Ah, maybe a special drink to honor those who are not here. Let's see. The mixed drink should be solemn, dignified, and unique as we'll use it to pay respect to those fallen heroes. To the Nameless resting in peace, and to Gallagher. It's rare for all passengers to leave the Express together during a trailblazing expedition. But for Penacony, it seems most appropriate. In my dream, the Express stopped at many places, and passengers came and went. However, the five of us were always present, and the journey seemed never-ending. <sighs> Perhaps this could be a deep-seated desire inside me, and uh, upon realizing this, I... Uh, I knew it wasn't real. Given the conductor's presence, there's no need to worry about it. However, it's crucial 
that we soon return to inform Pom Pom about uh, the Nameless. <sighs> no related records exist in the databank, but I have a theory. The hidden dangers of the Order have always been within the Harmony. And this issue existed within the family from the very beginning. However, now that more powers in the universe are aware of this secret, the situation in the cosmos um, will become more complicated. Like I said, we'll go and see. Once we've packed everything, we should head to our next destination. This trailblazing expedition has been thrilling and memorable. Hopefully we've all gained insights about ideals, paranoia, clarity, and dreams from the experiences we've had. One bird longs for the earth and the other longs for the sky. Even if Robin had to stop her brother with her own hands, she won't give up on him. However, facing punishment from the Harmony is inevitable. He will face a trial. As for further details, the family would rather not disclose them. Since the family took up residence in Panacone, the Order has been hiding in plain sight under the guise of the Oak family, using the Stellaron's power to strengthen their hold on the Sweet Dream which eventually resulted in disaster. That's the claim the family makes. Whether they were truly unaware of all this is a delicate matter. Um, Venturine's efforts finally earned the IPC a seat at the table. As a result, a more senior representative arrived in Panacone and initiated negotiations with the family. As far as the Astral Express is concerned, the IPC will make for an invaluable ally during the negotiations to prevent Panacone returning to its former ways. Well, it was somewhat surprising. In that dream, I returned to my homeworld and reunited with my long-lost friends. And, for some reason, Acheron resurfaced in my mind. When I realized that her conclusion was not preserved in memories, I became aware of the bitter truth. The conclusion of a journey can often be sorrowful. All we can do is to try to make sure it ends on a happy note. Uh, guess what? Something weird just happened when I was on my way over here. Someone gave me a strange gift. So I unwrapped it and found out it was a button with a message on the back. Just press this button and all of Panacone will explode. This sounds terrifying. Of course not. Who would press something like that? By the time I turned around, the person had already vanished. So I handed it over to a nearby hound. I heard there were many similar reports before the Charmony Festival started. Ugh, I'm really worried about the future of Penacony. Ready to mix your drink? I'm not sure. I haven't seen him since our last meeting at the lounge. Come to think of it, he always did come and go quietly. We used to discuss everything here. But every time he'd leave, I'd realize that I didn't know him at all. Such is the mystery that is Gallagher. I have a hunch. Perhaps he's already fulfilled his wishes and won't be coming back. Before we start, uh, would you like to talk to your friends? We have plenty of time. All right, as you wish. Huh. I think I have an idea about what drink to make. Would you like it bitter or sweet? It's up to you. Choose the flavor that suits you best at this moment. Drowning sweetness. One of the most challenging drinks to make. A slight imbalance in the ingredients can result in an overwhelmingly viscous sweet taste. However, 
with the right ratios, you get a uniquely sweet drink with a lingering aftertaste. Not a bad choice. Let's start mixing. Words always fall short. If you want to bring closure to past events at this lounge, there's no better way than mixing a drink. Blend all your memories and emotions together and stir them well. Through the filter of time, what remains in the glass is something to savor. Well, it's done. Here's to the nameless resting in peace and to my friend Gallagher. The spirit of freedom will spread far and wide among the stars, and its legacy will be more timeless than a pastoral song. We're not accepted by the outside world, so we've gathered here. And one day, our souls will return to the same place. Cheers. Are you leaving? Well, then take this with you. I've mixed more of this last special drink for you. <sighs> the past shouldn't be forgotten. So I hope it brings back the flavors of Panacone. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure it'll leave a lasting impression. <laughs> if you happen to run into Gallagher, make sure he has a sip too. I know his tastes, and he'll be thrilled. All right, enough with the heavy stuff. You guys have important things to take care of, so let's not dwell on things. Whether it's the Astral Express or Pentacony, there's still a long journey ahead. So let's lift our spirits, guys and embark towards our tomorrows. <laughs> 